Hey everybody, it's Nadia here, your favorite coach at My Life and Fitness and NadiaSantiago.com and I'm bringing you another workout in your 15 workouts ebook series. If you haven't already snagged the ebook, make sure to head over to my website, MyLifeAndFitness.com slash blog and you'll find it somewhere around there, okay? If you have trouble finding it, then just comment below and I will help you out, okay? So today we're doing workout number one, set number three and all you're gonna need is a single dumbbell. Okay, uh, I'm going to use the clean timer today as usual, setting the interval to 50 10. Um, if you're doing the workout on your own, you can go ahead and set that yourself, or you can just follow along with the video. We're going to do three total sets, only three exercises. Let's do this. First exercise is going to be a squat curtsy. So I want you to squat down. We're going to take that left foot, step it behind. You're going to stay low, step it out to the squat curtsy. So just little squat curtsy pulse. So that right glute and quad is going to feel the burn pretty quickly. I'm looking at the timer already because I know I'm feeling it. Now what tends to happen here is that you round and tuck the tailbone, but see if you can keep those hips pushing back, keep your torso as tall as possible. Those with a little knee sensitivity might just want to stick to a squat pulse instead of doing that curtsy. Okay. I know, I keep looking down. I always tell my students, don't look at the clock. It's not going to make the time go by any faster. But I feel the burn. Two, one, and stop. We're going to grab our weight, and I want you to stay standing, but I'm going to come down to kneeling so you all can see me on camera and bring the weight to the shoulder. From here, we're going to press it overhead, and I just want you to hold it there. Your palm is going to face forward or towards your ear. It really depends on your flexibility and your range of motion. Shoulder has to stay tucked away from your ear. From here, I want you to firm your tummy. What tends to happen in this position is that the back starts arching, but I want you to tuck the tummy, keep the hips and shoulders stacked. You may be able to see me shaking, or maybe I just feel that way right now <laughs> from this position. Now, if you feel comfortable with the hand stacked and you need a little extra challenge, then just walk around real slowly, okay? Just make sure there's nothing around that you can trip on. We're gonna breathe it out here for the last six seconds. I'm just looking for y'all, okay? Not for me. Three, two, one, and stop. We're gonna do a little dumbbell drag. So I want you to put your weight down on the ground and you're gonna come into a bear crawl-like position. I want you to walk your hands back and then we're gonna drag the dumbbell back. Walk it back again, drag it back. And then we're going to drag it forward, walk it forward in that bear crawl position, slide it forward. So we're just gonna keep sliding the weight forward and back. Every once in a while, I want you to slide it side to side. Okay, now the side to side is a little bit more challenging. So choose your poison, okay? <sighs> my voice is getting a little shaky. That's because my core is working right now. <sighs> Am I whispering? I have no idea. Only because it hurts. Okay, in a good way, right? Last six seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Woo! Only 10 seconds to transition back to move number one. Just gonna put that aside. Okay, so we did the left leg last time, so we're gonna squat it back with the right this time out and in. Now on your ebook, that last move was named as a sandbell drag. But how many of us have a sandbell just laying around at home? Not many, right? So feel free to use the dumbbell. Feel free to use like a giant jug of water, a suitcase, anything that's lying around. I'm trying to not focus on the burn that I'm feeling in this right quad more quickly than the left. <laughs> I'm laughing because it feels good. Woo! So I like to tell myself, I must do it. Feels good. So you can't make it feel bad. And stop. Woo. We're doing that one arm overhead hold. So grab your weight and you're gonna stay standing for this, but I'm gonna come down so y'all can see me. Let's go ahead and lift it up and we keep it up. Remember, from the tummy, shoulders should be relaxed. 
So I don't want you to press it down as hard as you can. Instead, soften it, okay? We do want the muscles to naturally engage and then draw back in together. Slight lift in the chest and drawing down of the rib cage. I know, can you do that at the same time? The answer is yes. I teach it in my yoga classes all the time. Firm the tummy, squeeze the glutes. Now one question, is this side harder than the other or is the other side harder than this one? It's a good idea to check in with yourself every once in a while just for feedback, right? That means you got something to work on. And stop. We're gonna do that dumbbell drag again. So go ahead and gently put your weight on the floor. Remember, we never throw dumbbells around in the studio or at home. Go a call position and let's lift. I'm gonna start side to side. One, because there's only so much space on my camera for you to see me. And two, because I wanna challenge myself. Now I'm picking up my weight, but you can feel free to slide it forward, slide it back, and see if you can change which hand you're pulling it back and forth with. And if I ever go off camera, feel free to let me know in the comments, but I guess by then I would know. <laughs> I know, I'm so, I'm so funny. I like to think I'm humorous. That was the wrong way. <laughs> As I go through my classes, just try to tell jokes to amuse myself a little bit. Three, two, one. Stop. Ooh, we're going back to the top, and this time we're gonna alternate legs on that squat curtsy. You ready? Let's go. We're gonna squat, take the left leg back, squat, take the right leg back. We stay low the entire time. So knees stay bent. You do not stand up tall at any time. Now let's say the burn is just too much. Okay, then you have my permission. But just know, that if any, anything hurts in a way that it shouldn't, and if you've been working out for a while, you should know, then stop or slow down or check it out, you know? We don't want pain in the wrong way. We want that burn that helps you improve, okay? I don't know. I'm doing this with my arms because I, I dance <laughs> and I feel like I need to be doing something. All right, we've gotten here to that overhead hold and I happen to have another dumbbell, I'm gonna grab it. If you don't, then I'll have you switch halfway. Otherwise, both hands up, okay? I'm gonna turn my hands forward just for a change of pace. And for those of you with one weight in hand, I'll let you know when we're gonna switch. Now, next time you do this workout, some of y'all might wanna try and see what it feels like to do it on your knees. It destabilizes your core, helps you lengthen your spine and squeeze the glutes. Switch sides if you haven't already, if you're doing one side. Oh, everything's shaking and moving right now. Even if you can't see it on camera. Ooh, I'm so curious to see what it looks like when I see this video come out. Last seven seconds. Come on, you can do this. I got faith in you and bring it down. Gently, please, always rack, and then bring it down. One piece at a time. What do we got? Just one weight, dumbbell drag. Let's go. Final move. <laughs> Keep pushing it instead of pulling it. That's another move. We'll save that one for another day. If you find that at some point you become uncoordinated or you question yourself, am I doing this right? Don't worry about it. It does not have to be perfect. We're not here for perfection. We're here to work out. The only time I would worry is if you're doing something that would hurt yourself, okay? All right, I know. I'm trying to stop talking because I can feel it. Last seven seconds, come on. If you've stopped, I want you to finish this. Come on, get those knees off the floor. Three, two, one, and done. Oh my gosh. I was like, was that the last exercise? It was. All right. If y'all can't hear the clean timer at the end, it gives you this little 
And I love it, because then it's like, well, thank you. Yeah, I feel, feel like a champ. Anyway, if you enjoyed this workout, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Definitely invite your friends to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to subscribe yourself. Please go ahead and find me on Instagram at NS Life and Fitness, where I post almost daily, mostly about yoga, but a lot about mindset and general personal growth. All right. Don't forget to grab that ebook if you haven't at mylifeandfitness.com. And I will see y'all next time. Ciao. Gotta wipe that sweat off. Woo!